Hi, my name is Matt Giordano. I want to give you guys a couple tips on backbending, specifically the pose Cobra Pose and Upward Facing Dog. To start to really understand how to do these poses with a sense of ease in your back, I usually like to use Chair Pose as an example. Placing your hands on your knees, bending the knees, create an anterior tilt of the pelvis. That means the front of your pelvis goes down, the back of the pelvis slides back and up. This will establish an arch in your low back. Now, the key is from an arch position to be a little elongated. So I'm going to keep the, the pelvis in an anterior tilt, but pull the entire front of the body and sides even of the body upward. So what I'll do is I'll lift the navel and stretch the front right, the front left. Even the back starts to lift up a little bit taller. Now the important thing to note is that I'm still in anterior tilt of the pelvis. What happens when you pull the abdomen up is that the pubic bone, the tail, wants to tuck underneath, losing the back bend. So not that that's necessarily a bad thing getting length in the low back, but for this particular exercise, practicing establishing the arch and elongating what we already have. Okay, so now taking that into your cobra pose and applying it. What's nice is to, to have the, the hands a little bit wider to start, either on palms or fingertips, I like fingertips. If you're not sure how to pull the front ribs up, if you've never done this in, in a back bend before, what I would start with is actually sphinx pose. Taking the forearms to the ground and starting by rounding the upper back and even rounding to the point where your thighs lift up, maybe even the shins. Taking that awareness of expanding the back body to apply it to your back bend, like so. This will get me lifted. Then from there, it's a matter of elongating that lift and pulling the front side ribs forward, right ribs. Then pulling the front left ribs forward. Then it's a matter of getting the shoulders in place. Shoulders move back and shoulder blades move down the back. The neck moves back and gazes up. There's something I'm not explaining though, know, which is the legs. So the, the buttocks fires up like I'm trying to tuck my tailbone, but I reach through the feet, my quadriceps engage. That helps establish a length in the low back in the opposite direction. So in other words, since the pelvis is on the ground, you reach through your leg and pull the abdomen, it's like the pelvis moves down, the chest moves up, and you create space for you to elongate. Taking that into upward facing dog, it's the same tips. In upward facing dog, the only difference is that your thighs are lifted, your knees are lifted off the ground, your quadriceps are engaged, and it's a little bit more strength of the lat muscles. So from Chaturanga, I'll just do a controlled upward dog, both feet down, pulling the abdomen forward and up. Now, watch how I just adjust this. Fire up the quadriceps, but pull the abdomen upward to elongate. The shoulders are behind and drawing down the back. Gaze is up. Now that is upward dog, cobra pose, and chair pose for that matter. Hope you uh, enjoy it. Hope you, uh, the tips are useful. If you guys have any questions at all, please email theyogimat at gmail.com. T H E Y O G I M A T T. Namaste.